we are going over the match tool system. This is the USB cable that connects to the USB hub. Plug the end that matches into the USB hub and the other end goes into the laptop. Turn on the ports on the USB hub. You have the USB cables, one is silver and you have two black ones. Plug the cables into the USB hub. Then you take the controllers and plug it into the other end of the USB cables. As you can see, you plug it into the USB cable with the bigger end. Plug in all three USB controllers. Then you press the analog button and make sure the red light comes on. Make sure when you plug in all the USB controllers, make sure the red light comes on when you press the analog button. And here is the third controller. So we're all set, all is plugged in. When you rerun the USB cables, you have the two shorter black ones and the long silver one. The two shorter black one goes to the left and the right and front. As you see here, I'm drawing the lines. And the one on the far end going across is the silver cable. The silver cable is the one that goes all the way across because it's the longest one. The two shorter black ones go to the side. So that's how it should look when you run the cables. To run the software first, you make sure you open up Joy2 key. You click on options and it will show three controllers all detected. Make sure it shows three. Hit refresh and make sure it shows three and it doesn't change. Now you can minimize it once everything is up, up and running. To run the Match Tool software, right click on the Match Tool icon and choose Run as Administrator. Click OK. Click on the Sparring tab. Look through the settings and make sure it's the right amount of rounds, minutes, and seconds, timeout seconds, and timeout in between. Make sure you check with the center ref with how many, how long the match should be match, should be going. Click on dual monitor setup, and that will bring out the scoreboard for the second monitor. That goes on the extended screen. You drag it over and then you will see the scoreboard there. Do not click on the maximize button, but just drag it along and then drag the window down on the corner and pull so that it fills the screen. It just needs to be in the middle of the screen so then that it is visible. I go back to the main screen and to start the match
you would tap click on the Olympic tab that will bring up your control panel and the main scoreboard on the extended screen it's pretty simple with the buttons you got the Kirshi minutes adding minutes and you got the start the round for Shi Jok Gamjangs, Kyongos and you got bonus point and wave points. Those are the ones where you could add points with bonus points. Wave point would deduct points. You would do this when you're in the timeout mode where you could make the score corrections. So once you start the match and you need to make changes to the score, you'd click Kiss Up, Akeshi. Double click on the clock and then you could add more change to fix the time depending on how much time is left it goes by seconds you can add seconds or you put minus 30 would take off 30 seconds from the clock just 30 would add it back on so you click kiss up to continue Now you're going to add Gamjong. Make sure you're in Keshi, which is the timeout mode, before you can add any of the penalty points, such as the Congos or the Gamjongs. Maximum is 8 Congos or 4 Gamjongs, and that will end the match for either player. So to make score corrections, you always go to Keshi to make, put it in timeout. Click on wave point to deduct points. Bonus point is to add points. And just continue to continue the match. Or you double click on the clock to add time to it. When you click on the clock, you get the box to add the seconds that you need. And that's it. It's pretty simple to use. One thing you want to avoid is the controllers when you set up, tell the corner judges to not mess around with the analog sticks. That's this but those buttons right there. You see one of them is broken or just delay the setup of the system.